Hello everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Total War Rome 2 and uh, you know this is the first time I started this game since um, I got Attila and this game looks so different and it's also so so much easier I mean, I don't have to worry about... Well, I, I do have to worry about some things, but... You know, I don't have to worry about, like, food supply in every in every province. Just make sure that this number over here is positive. Um, I don't have to worry about sanitation. The uh, slavery impact on public order is... Um, much easier to manage than... Uh, the immigration uh, factor in oh, what's this fleet? Then the immigration in uh, Attila. It's it's going to be so much better. Uh, nothing can can ruin this, but well, I guess an invading army can ruin it. But um, yeah, that's basically everything. So yes, last time we. Um, started with our invasion of uh, of Macedonia launched our uh, you know the the first made the first moves against uh, Antony and I guess we basically finished off um, Octavian I'm not sure how big his territory still is I am going to assume that just these two provinces will be uh, is what's left of Octavian's forces, and one of them is under siege. The other one will probably be conquered relatively quickly. Still not sure what I'm going to do up here. If I'm going to uh, kick the Iceni out of uh, Europe. Okay, but I have three armies in here, which is definitely enough to uh, defend against whatever is going to happen. Um, I might need another army. Let's see, the Dacothracians. Do we have some kind of deal? We have a trade agreement and a non-aggression pact. I do have to go to war with them at some point because I need uh, Italia or Latium I guess it's called uh, this time. Italia is the south. Now I really wish I had an army in here so I could take Beneventum but um, is there something I can do? Um, I guess I'll upgrade that. What am I researching? Double plan construction, okay. I think I'm going for a professional soldiery after, uh, after this one, because it will uh, replace my... Uh, my legionaries with the legionary cohort Oop. and unlike in Attila upgrades won't kill my economy oh, okay. oh crap I pressed the wrong button it will damage my economy sure but um, I'm going to assume that I can afford to replace them. And why do I have two armies outside of my, uh, my cities? It's a bit weird. I have 
have talked to a wise woman and all speak of uh, sure if you're going to pay for a non-aggression pact uh, I'm willing to accept it my lord's offer is simple trade you have much that we want so what say you fine I'll trade with you uh, for now low civil war chance I know I know uh need to do something about that. All my guys are generals, so... Oh, Pompey is uh, getting old. I wonder if he will survive. I doubt it. I'm going to assume that he can still die of old age. Influence of 522. Ah, Beneventum has been taken by the Degothracians. What were my, my objectives? Let's see, what's this? Control the following one settlement. And research seed selection. Okay, but uh, yeah, I need to subjugate 10 different factions. Um, I doubt that's going to happen. I, I don't know. I, I might actually just... Uh, apparently... Um, the other guys didn't really do anything. So, in that case, I uh, I will take Visonto. Uh, um, let's just occupy it. I'm so glad that raising the city in this uh, in this game doesn't completely destroy the entire area; just destroys the building. Uh, what am I going to do with this province? Uh, I guess I can... I think I'll make this like my, my border. So I'm just going to reinforce it with all kinds of stuff. So I will make another uh, field of Mars in there. Uh, I guess I'll have an amphitheater as well and a shrine to Mars maybe? No, let's go with the shrine to Jupiter. Uh, so there's stuff I need to build in here. Build a shrine to Jupiter in there. Um, yeah, more manipular barracks over there. And let's see, what does this do? Get me a bonus wealth from industry, so I'll... Specific industry? No. So I'll build a, a pit mine. Yeah, I think that maybe, although I, I think, I, I kind of need a navy for that. And currently, I don't really have the tech. I don't really have the, the right tech for the uh, navy, but I think that I might just use... Um, so let's see if I can make some deal with the Marco Manai. Greetings, friend. We will speak. I can sense that my god smile on us. And how and uh, how about a, uh, a non-aggression pact? I 
will take word of our agreement. That was weird that they went to like the decorations. Okay, so we have peace with those guys. Um, the bell guy don't like me. I don't know what faction is in control over here. But yeah, I, I might just actually take like this army and um, this army. Commander. And start uh, with the invasion of Britain because to actually win. I need uh, 90 settlements. And of course I need Macedonia, Lat uh, Latium and Italia. So I don't know if uh, how much I will focus on actually staying here I'm I don't know we hunger for battle we hunger for battle commander uh, am I missing something I doubt it Um, I guess I can upgrade this. It will get me two veteran legionaries as a garrison. Can I already start with getting a navy? Which ships? What what kind of? Sh uh, well. Oh well, I can all I can just recruit the uh, the general in here. That's that's not really a problem. Uh, who am I going to put in charge of that fleet? Um, what I can do. Also, to reduce my influence is just to get one of these guys. Uh, oh, can I... Okay, I only can reinstate legacies of some uh, some militaries. Or some armies, I mean. Um, so, I, I choose this guy. Raise the fleet. Apparently, there's only one type of ship I can pick. And what I can do... Is replace this dude with, like, one of my own... It will cost me influence to appoint this guy, but also it will send the other guy to uh, be a statesman. And it means I have a loyal navy, which is also uh, nice to have. Sold by reams. Yeah, I really need um, this one at level 4, because that gets me uh, some pretty good units. So all these other ones, the, the assault by reams have a very small crew, but uh, when this thing gets upgraded to level four, um, I get like assault trireams, I guess, and they have at least double, uh, double the crew. Ready for orders. How long does that take? Two turns, and you can go in one turn. So, although this force has less experience. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh well, doesn't really uh, matter. Oh yeah, um, let's see. Uh, 
Okay, I have an Ida going in Africa, but not in Sicily. You're going the wrong way, fleet. Consult your ancestors. Yeah, you're not going to get military access. That's uh, that's for sure. Stuff happened. Okay. Um. So this army can now move out, and I think that the original plan was to move it to Sparta. What was he at war with? Paradini and me. And Paradini is somewhere. Oh, oh my god. Well, this is going to be a uh, pretty significant battle against Antony. <laughs> He's reached all the way over here into Bactria. And Egypt controls most of Arabia, it looks like it. Well, this is going to be one hell of a fight. I really have to think about how I'm going to do this. Um, yeah, the best plan would probably to just stop at the Rhine. Maybe. Then eventually just move into Italy. I need a lot of armies for that. Um, because also I need like one or two armies at least in Greece to defend against uh, invasions from uh, Turkey. I also want two navies in this area. So I can intercept transports. It's going to be uh, yeah, quite a fight. I will have to invade. Um, I will have to invade uh, Asia eventually. But for now, um, I can't upgrade that. Ooh, that could get me auxiliary noble horse, but uh, for now these armies will do. I don't care I'm trespassing against the Iceni. Ready for orders. Character has an unassigned skill. Fostered Fagionis, Fagionius Polo. Who the hell is that guy? Is it you? No. Did I fight? Yes, I, I did fight over here, but wasn't that last turn? Or is it... It, it might actually be... Um, Might actually be one of my uh, my agents. Yeah. Doom. I don't know if it's really useful, but uh, okay, this is much more useful. Improved movement range. Okay, public order is also so much easier. I can just abandon this entire province and, you know, it's it's just fine. Is that all? 
Even in this one. Oh, I, I can actually just march this army to uh, Trevororum. Didn't even need to trespass. And that was the end of Octavian's Rome, but I'm definitely not going to subjugate him because that will result into trouble. Oh. Oh, there, there are armies uh, out there, apparently. Shitty armies, by the looks of it. I need to know what or who controls that province up there. I might just try to grab Bavai and um, then march on Tully for them. And then subjugate the bell guy. This navy can already recruit good units over there. Because I at least want some artillery ships. Oh yeah, of course all those armies are going to uh, try their best to screw me over. But yeah, Antony, I mean he has reached Bactria, but that probably means that most of his, um, most of his forces are actually all the way in the east. So I can most likely take like all of Greece. Um, relatively easily. It also looks like the uh, Decothrations have problems with taking over Italy. Um, so what... a higher replenishment rate. But yes, this is uh, definitely going to help professional soldiery. Because I uh, have to fight that, like, giant war. Okay, this fleet, it's uh, small. Is it going to attack Bibaracti? If, if they're going to... Uh, they are actually stupid. But let's see how much time do I have. Okay. Enough time. Uh, let's uh, let's deal with that force. Um, yeah. Let's just Let's let's make a small economic province from this uh, from this province. Leave them alive. Uh, well, let's let's fight the battle on the battlefield. It's probably not well. Those javelin men can be annoying. But this is probably going to be a, a very easy fight. Because 
I matched him in infantry, I matched him in cavalry, I, uh, I actually also matched him in, uh, in missile units. Or I matched him, I, uh, I'm actually better in everything. You know, I have better infantry, better missile units. And I also have better cavalry. Um, but this is really annoying. So they're over there on that hill. Okay, let's first just deploy them like a, you know, in this line. So I have 10 of those, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so let's have my slingers there. Um, I have the cav. Here. And then my uh, my general can stay back over there. So many hills and forests is going to be a pain to fight uh, or fight find the enemy. Although they, they do have a good position and they are on the defensive and I don't have siege uh, weapons. So most likely they won't come out to actually meet me. I'm also glad to see that um, they actually handle movement pretty well. So first they rotate and these guys barely move. Wait, are they moving? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, let's 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 get my army here in the open. Now all running. Yeah, I don't need them to run. Where's the timer? Uh oh, I actually think that um that if you like engage them for the second time, the timer doesn't matter, so this is really a fight to the death basically. I believe I had something like that happen once to me. It was really annoying. I was like the defender, but the enemy didn't come at me. And you know, I, I couldn't really win that battle. So I definitely wanted to stay back and decided, well, that I can possibly wait out the time, but uh, apparently the timer was gone, so I couldn't do that. Um, let's see, what would be the best way to deal with this? You know what? Screw it. Um, let's uh, ungroup them. I think I'm just going to have them uh, charge the hill. Forward. 
mean they are in here somewhere. So, I deployed a little bit too far to the right, but I guess that means I can, uh, you know, deal with their uh, left flank really quickly. So yeah, they're making their last stand on this hill, basically. These guys are also getting distracted. But you guys go back to the battle. My cavalry, I guess, can help out in the battle as well. And this is basically where um, the Octavian faction dies. I know they have another army, but uh, now I'm going to continue with as many guys as possible. Who was leading this army? Was it Octavian? Is Octavian still leading an army? No, this was Quintus Rufus. Um, yeah, I think I still have an Octavian campaign running myself. Now I think about it. I'm doing much better in that one than the Octavian in, the <laughs> in this campaign. Okay, let's uh, let's quit the battle. We lost 21 guys. That's uh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> I didn't expect that actually. I thought I would lose more, especially because I had to fight like uphill and all that. Although this force is a uh, you know it's it's quite a veteran force, or at least my infantry uh, is. So who is the uh, the MVP? It's definitely this uh, this cavalry unit. Although of course you can't uh, decide the uh, the MVP from just this screen. But the cavalry was uh, pretty important. But you know, I I like how battles like this go. Usually they they only happen. Uh, in fights like this where you, you know, outclass and outnumber your enemy but uh, you know also in equal battles I've had a few of them happen in Attila where basically everything goes according to plan because sometimes you really have to you know struggle for that surround and sometimes you just make the flanks collapse and then you can just Turn your flanks inside and surround the enemy. Waiting for more orders. Sextus Pompeius Magnus is now ranked nine. Ready but I'm I, I fear that he is going to die before <laughs> he's going to reach rank ten. So far I haven't had a general um, that has reached uh, level ten. Um, 
Let's see. What's all this? A strategist, I guess, could work. He doesn't really have an authority trait. Uh, a higher campaign movement rate, I guess, is going to be uh, working out pretty nicely. So here we have a veteran army, which I kind of want. But I should probably upgrade the uh, indomitable legionaries trait. What will it do? Plus six percent weapon damage inflicted by all heavy infantry units, and it increases the defense and or the melee attack and defense skills by six percent more of all heavy infantry. So this force is now uh, it's actually starting to get deadly. Well, it already was deadly. Um, this army. I don't really know what to expect of this force. He might recruit a whole bunch of mercenaries and conquer one of my pl uh, my cities. So I, I guess I'll I'll start to chase it. And then I'll have uh, Pompey's army focus on um, on the north over here. Have him take Bavai. Hopefully able to make peace with the, the bell guy. And over here I actually think I... Uh, I should be able to reach Sparta. Let's go aggressive on this. I should be careful about Crete. At your command. Um What can I recruit over here? Okay, so I think... Well, I, I don't even know if it's possible to recruit the Cretan archers. They used to be possible, at least in a normal campaign. So I assume that means I will actually have to at least uh, have control of uh, Crete. So far, I will keep this province. I'll, uh, you know, I'll change this into fields. But uh, other than that, I will keep it like this. What's that's a fleet. We hunger for battle. Okay, so the Decathracians are in charge of Rome, and they seem to be doing just fine. Here, I'll upgrade this into um, an auxiliary camp, upgrade this to a cohort barracks. And over here, I should upgrade that to the coastal patrol. Okay, what should I take? Let's go for onagers. How many can I recruit in one turn? Four. Okay, so I will take four onager ships. Not sure how, how big I'm going to make my navies. I don't think I'll have the, like, full 20. How many units do I need to maintain? 60 naval units. So if I do 15, you know, I have four fleets. Should be more than enough. 
like one up here and like two over here and one maybe here near Egypt something like that do need to upgrade this place of course Okay, <clears throat> so it's uh, it's actually Octavian leading this army, but um, I am actually out of time. So next time we'll start with uh, with this battle where we crush the uh, the Octavian forces, and so we only have the well, actually major threat of Antony remaining. But for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys next time.